This video is an overview of Rollbit. Rollbit is a leading cryptocurrency application right now that allows sports betting and gambling using crypto rails and also crypto futures trading. In this video, I'll go through an overview of what Rollbit is, how to get started using it. We'll talk about Rollbit's RLB token and its tokenomics, and then I'll talk about some of the opportunities and risks with Rollbit. Welcome back to Dynamo DeFi. My name is Patrick. As a reminder, this video isn't an endorsement or suggestion that you necessarily use or invest in Rollbit. Personally, I can say that I don't do any sports betting or gambling myself. However, on this channel, we talk about leading cryptocurrency applications and how they work, so we're going to cover it anyways. Now, let's get into the video. To start, let's talk a little bit more about what exactly Rollbit is and why so many people are interested in it right now. Well, to start, this is the Rollbit homepage. As you can see, it's very dopaminergetic where there's a lot going on, there's colors, there's animations, and at its core, Rollbit is a sports betting and gambling application. So you can see here, they have a section for casino, which has casino games, like Rollbit Originals. I'm not gonna go through all these games, but, but there's many of them. And you can see there's these bonus battles, there's slots, there's a live casino, there's roulette. It's at its core, it's an online casino. And then there's also sports betting. So you have sports books here. And if we load this up and look at, let's see what's available right now. You have sports like soccer, American football, baseball, tennis, basketball, MMA, FIFA, all kinds of things on here. And part of the reason why I think so many people are interested in this is for one thing, that even crypto aside, sports betting is one of the fastest growing industries in the world. According to this market research report, it's expected to grow at an annual rate of around 12% through the remainder of this decade, making it one of the fastest growing industries in the world. And on top of that, there's actually a lot of synergies between gambling, sports betting, and crypto that potentially make crypto ideal payment rails for this industry. For one thing, it's an industry that's traditionally struggled with payment rails, where many banks won't accept these sorts of clients as customers. Another thing that crypto enables is provably fair games, and Rollbit actually does this, where because everything is verified on chain, you know that you are actually getting the odds that the casino tells you you are. And then the final synergy I see is that because crypto and blockchain is a permissionless environment, anyone can deploy any sort of financial or gambling application on chain, it allows people to iterate and innovate in ways that wouldn't easily be possible in a traditional setting. So that's sort of the general thesis behind Rollbet. They've been around for a while. They were actually founded in February 2020. And like I said, they've been gaining a lot of traction and attention this year. If you're interested in using this, here's how you can get started. First thing you need to know is that Rollbit is geo-blocked in some countries, including the United States. So if you're in the US, then you may be out of luck unless you are willing to use a VPN. If you are in a country that allows Rollbit, then here's how you can get started. First thing you'll do is you'll go to the account section in the top right, and then you would click on profile. And then here, there's gonna be a button to deposit. And you can see they have a lot of different deposit options, both in crypto and with a credit card. So you have the option to deposit BTC, ETH, Litecoin, Solana, various other ERC-20 tokens. You can actually deposit NFTs, strangely, or you can buy crypto directly using a credit card. So, and then once you have some funds in the platform, you can use all these games that we talked about a second ago. Like I mentioned, there's the casino games. If you're interested in these, there's a whole lot. Again, very, very dopaminergetic. You, there's also sports betting, like I showed you before. I know that's very popular with some people. Personally, I don't, I don't partake in that. I just working in crypto is enough of a gamble as it is. Uh, and then they actually also offer crypto futures. So for example, if you wanted to trade BTC, then they have this BT, BTC futures trading platform here. And I mean, this chart, I got to say, this chart is actually very exciting. I could just sit here and stare at this all day and you can see when different people are, are entering trades. But if you want to trade on here, then you can see they have very high leverage options. Remember to be responsible, guys, right? Don't just come in here and load up the leverage and get liquidated. Make sure you know what you're doing. But they have this pretty powerful futures trading pl platform. And as you can see, they actually offer a lot of different tokens, including some that may be tough to find futures trading for, especially on centralized exchanges. All right, so that is how you use Rollbit in a nutshell. 
Let's talk a bit about the RLB token now because Rollbit actually has their own token. So like I said, the token's RLB is currently rank 65 on CoinGecko with a market cap of $781 million. And first thing you need to know is that this token has been doing very well. If we look at it over the course of one year, it recently hit an all-time high and it's up very significantly this year. So if you decide this is something you want to invest in, just understand that it's already up a lot. It doesn't mean it can't go up more, right? The sports betting industry is huge and it also has crypto futures trading, which is another huge industry, but understand that you're buying something that has inc increased in price a lot recently. In terms of tokenomics, the circulating supply is currently around 3.3 billion tokens, just under, with a max supply of 5 billion. And one important thing to note about this is that the reason that the total supply and circulating supply is so much lower than the max supply is actually not because there's a lot of tokens that are waiting to enter circulation. It's because Rollbit has some deflationary mechanisms which have burned a decent portion of the supply already. And those deflationary mechanisms are that they actually take a portion of all of their futures, sports betting, and casino fees, and they use those to buy back and burn Rollbit. And to be specific, 30% of revenue from crypto futures goes towards this, 10% of revenue from casino games go towards it, and 20% of revenue from sports betting goes towards buying back and burn RLB tokens. So what you have is they've got all this revenue they're generating from the casino games, from the sports betting, from crypto futures, and then a portion of all that revenue is being used to buy back and burn the RLB token, which makes it deflationary. So that's pretty interesting right there pretty solid utility and it creates continuous buying pressure for RLB. In addition to the buybacks and burns, RLB also has utility within the Rollbit application. If you hold it in your wallet, you get a discount on trading fees on Rollbit. In addition, you get rakebacks when you're using their gambling applications. You can also wager RLB in the Rollbit lottery for a chance to win prizes. Now that we understand what Rollbit is and what the token does, let's talk a bit about the opportunities and risks of this platform and token. So to start, let's look at the opportunities. I would say that I predict some crypto gaming application will make it big. And the reason is that the synergies are just too great. It's too good of a use case of crypto. So maybe Rollbit is gonna be the app, that application. And there's some compelling reasons to think that they might be. For one thing, if we look at their revenue, they're generating pretty solid revenue right now. If you look just across their application, they're generating over a million dollars in revenue a day over the past 24 hours when I'm making this video. Additionally, they have really good tokenomics. They're highly deflationary and the token has solid utility within the application. Furthermore, they've already been around since 2020, so they've been around for a few years. They're somewhat battle tested, unlike some of these newer applications that are launching. However, there are some important risks to be aware of. For one thing, one risk is regulation, although I think that it's likely that some crypto gambling application makes it big, you have to recognize that this could be a main target for regulators since it's too often targeted and highly risky industries. Another risk is that it's centralized. So if you're depositing funds on Rollbit, just understand that it's not really the same as holding it in your wallet. So I would be careful about depositing major funds on there. Another risk that I found is that the most recent information I can find is that their gaming license has expired. If there's updated information on this anyone can share with me, I'm happy to correct it. However, the most recent information I can find is that their gaming license is in fact expired. And then the final risk that I'd wanna share is that their market cap is already decently high. It's nearly a billion dollars and it's ranked 65 out of all crypto tokens. So the big question now is how does it get valued? Does it get valued as a major web to sports betting and gambling application, in which case, its market cap potential could be quite a bit higher. Does it get valued as a crypto exchange since it has that crypto futures trading platform? Or does it get valued as your typical DeFi utility governance tokens? And time will tell which or which of several of these comes to be true. And that's the gist of what you need to know about Rollbit in the RLB token. If you wanna learn more about crypto trends and become a better crypto researcher, I have a weekly newsletter I send out called the Dynamo DeFi newsletter, and I've actually covered Rollbit and gambling tokens for months in here as an up and coming trend. So subscribe at dynamodefi.substack.com, link in the description. If you want more content like this, be sure to like and subscribe. And until next time, this is Dynamo DeFi.